Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to talk about how to align yourself with your ideal self, with your higher self, in order to manifest your ideal life. And guys, we're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers on this channel, so if you're new, make sure that you subscribe. Okay, I'm going to hop into the video, but before I do, don't forget to hit the like button. And yeah, let's get started. So what is your higher self? Your higher self is basically the spiritual version of you or your ideal self. It's basically the version of you that is perfect in every way, in a sense. And you can think of it as like your spiritual guide. You can think of it as like almost like your source and your connection to the universe and to universal intelligence and everything like that. So a lot of the times when we look for answers or guidance, we can go to things like horoscope, tarot, where we can like seek it out from coaches but a lot of the times it's actually easier to just get guidance and answers from your higher self rather than to seek it out from external sources the answer is usually within you already so how can you align with the ideal self how can you connect to your higher self how can you seek out guidance one of the most powerful ways to do this is to meditate meditate and observe your thoughts when you meditate and you're just closing your eyes and letting thoughts come to you and just observing them and then letting them go and focusing on your breathing, a lot of the time what comes up might surprise you because this is not something that people do often. So when you're meditating, if you start to notice negative thoughts or thoughts about the past or thoughts that stress you out or make you anxious, you know, just observe them and then let them go. But what you're doing is you're observing your thought pattern. You're really getting to know you and your subconscious because the thoughts that come up tend to be recurring thoughts and they tend to be recurring themes in your life as well. In doing this, you're really getting to know you and your subconscious mind. And when you are able to identify essentially what is holding you back through this process, that's when you can really start to heal and to deal with it and to process it and to completely let it go in order to move forward. So definitely meditation is one of the most powerful ways to do this. And another way to do this is through journaling. So gratitude journaling or scripting or just free writing, just writing about your thoughts, your feelings. It can be a really powerful tool because a lot of the times you might not even know what it is that you're feeling deep down. Some of us aren't that good at processing our emotions, even if we like talk to our friends about it or a therapist, whatever. Writing it down really helps you solidify it because you can actually visually see it and you physically wrote it down. So it's one of the best ways to really get to know what your mind is thinking deep down and get to know what your subconscious is feeling. And a really fun activity to do is to journal from the perspective of the version of you that already has your ideal life and already has everything that you want. And you would basically just gratitude journal. It's very similar to scripting. Essentially, you would just write down what your ideal life looks like. You can take a snapshot of a moment that really encapsulates that ideal life for you. Maybe you're like at, a, at an award show or maybe you're like living in your dream home, working your dream job, whatever it is. Take a snapshot of that moment and really write about it. Write how you're feeling, how grateful you are, how grateful you are to have this dream life, what it looks like, what you're doing, what you see, what you smell. And really just let your senses go to work and just let yourself live in that moment because that's one of the most powerful ways to just align with that reality. And then the next step is to work on yourself. When you align with your ideal self, with your higher self, it's gonna just make everything happen so quickly. When you think about what does my ideal self look like? What does my ideal self think like? How does that person react to things? How does that person carry themselves? How does that person go through life? And when you start to emulate that, you just become the magnetic energy and the magnetic vibration that your ideal life is basically at. And because of that, you're going to attract your ideal life so much faster than if you were to not use this practice. So what you can do is to create a morning routine or just daily habits. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the morning. Sometimes it can be at night if you're not necessarily a morning person, but create a set of practices and create a set of habits that you do every single day that's going to help you align with your ideal life. So for example, if your ideal life is like being an artist who lives by the beach, then 
every day you're gonna want to go to the beach and create art at the beach because in doing that you're just aligning with that ideal life you're aligning with that ideal self and because of that you're gonna attract everything to you so much faster and i think it's so important to work on yourself whenever you're trying to attract something big and powerful because you want to make sure that you're aligning with all the right frequencies and all the right vibration in order to attract everything that you want faster because really you don't attract what you want you attract what you are and what do i mean by this all the habits that you have all the habits that you do every single day even your thought patterns and your belief systems those are technically habits as well and whatever it is that you tell yourself whatever story you tell yourself whatever beliefs you have about yourself, these things all vibrate at a frequency and at a vibration. So what you're going to attract is basically exactly who you are. So if the life that you're living right now is not your ideal life, then what you need to do is change all the habits, all the beliefs that have attracted this current life. And you have to change those things to be the habits and the frequencies of the person who has your ideal life so that you can create that perfect life and it's always so counterintuitive because in a way you have to be what you want before you can get it which just sounds so weird and like backwards but that's kind of how it works and a fun thing that you can do when you feel discouraged or when you feel stagnant is to ask for signs from your higher self from the universe so you can be like give me a sign to let me know that i'm on the right path and you can basically ask for anything some people ask to like see butterflies or a specific color or a specific number or just like a general sign that things are moving in the right place sometimes when i'm feeling down when i'm feeling stagnant i don't even like consciously ask for a sign or anything but i'll just kind of be like i don't know i don't know if i'm on the right path i don't know if this is like meant to be and then randomly that day something will happen that will be like oh i am on the right path like something good will happen that is you know related to the thing that i'm kind of concerned about or worried about or whatever and it'll just reaffirm that I am on the right track. So that is something you can do if you're kind of feeling the same way. You can ask for a sign that things are ex happening exactly as they're supposed to be. Things are happening in divine timing and that what you want is already on the way. Okay, I again feel like I have so much to say about this topic, but I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to end it here. I hope you liked today's little video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next, and I will see you next time. Bye!